Hi, this is the monthly horoscope for Scorpio for the month of August 2023. Sorry I'm late. Right now we have the full moon that passed in Aquarius at 2.31 p.m. on August 1st. Um, so this is in your fourth house of mother, home, um, how you were raised. For some of you, you're not getting along with family members at this time, or some of you, this could be butting heads with roommates or your live-in relationships, or you're not getting along with family that live outside the home. You could be very much in your feelings at this time, and you may prefer to be more to yourself. You could be throwing yourself into your work with this energy, and you can be in hermit mode. For others of you, friends um, may be seeing... Um, can be seen distance at times, or again, you're in hermit mode and you don't wanna be talking to anybody. Um, so remember that the phone works both ways to make sure to reach out to other people and communicate is always good. This could be um, somebody at work quitting their job or getting fired at this time as well with this energy, or this could be you saying goodbye to friends and, and certain people with this energy, especially those of you who are going to college at this time. For others of you, organizations that you're involved in with the place could be like um giving you more responsibility with this energy this could be dealing with practical matters like looking for a home or dealing with your responsibilities at the home with this energy renovating the home you're focusing for some of you for some of you you could be more focused on your social life or even your love life you could be more quiet and to yourself and getting things done in your life this could be looking Again, looking for a home. So then on the 16th at 5.38 a.m., um, the new moon in Leo, this is a beautiful time in your 10th house. This is a beautiful time for receiving recognition, raise or promotion, or um, starting something new here, a new creative project. This may not be the easiest time for relationships um, because of the moon in your 10th house conjunct with um, Volcanus. That is going to be conjunct with Lilith with this energy squaring Uranus with your 7th house. But it's quintiling your ascendant, which is awesome. So this is a time for growth and recognition in regards to career. For others of you, people are acknowledging what you bring to the table, what you do. Um, let me see. I feel also your relationships, especially with father, um, could suffer with this energy here. So you may be butting heads with father or the dominating people in your life you're not getting along with. You could also feel used at this time by certain relationships or those in authority. Those of you in your teens, um, this could be a time period here where you could feel like your your parents are kind of pawning like your siblings on to you at this time and making you watch them but you're not getting anything out of this situation you could feel like a slave with this energy so you could be feeling some kind of way about certain people in your life at this time you're not getting your thank you you're not feeling appreciated um that kind of thing or you feel like relationships in your life are very one-sided and with this energy for some of you you're more serious in regards to career um, you could be taking your career or job very seriously and people may, and other people around you may not be taking your career may not be taking their career seriously they could be playing around and stuff like that and don't worry about it because it's going to get taken care of that same day and they're going to get reprimanded and in trouble okay so let other people fall on their faces don't allow them to ruin your peace then on the 23rd at 5:01 a.m the sun enters virgo where it's going to start to form a stellum in your 11th house so this is a great time for growth business picking up or this is a great time for socializing for some of you and networking those of you entering college you could be keeping these people for the rest of your life. So you could be these people that you're making friends with at this time, those are going to be like your long-term relationships, okay? And you'll continue have them, having them for the rest of your life. Um, you may have chance to meet important people at this time. The focus is on group discussions. Friends will be more helpful than usual. Friends are usually not supportive now. Um, and it is because you're in hermit mode. You may also be, have social obligations that you can um, that you don't want to go to, and you'd rather be doing something else. Other people, um, friends in your life, could be going through a time of self discovery or enduring certain power struggles. So you could be invested in their drama. For some of you, don't believe everything that you hear with this energy, especially when it comes to social networking here or people making stupid promises to you. Because I feel like it's just like BS 
talk. It's just talk. You know, be like, oh my God, the next time we need to go out, okay? Promise me. And it's like, you know how many times I've done that to the same person and I just kind of look at them and I'm like, okay, deuces, you know? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so busy. I have no life. Okay, I gotta go. You know, it's like... I hate that. So that could be happening to you at this time, all right? Um, so, you know, unless they're going to give you a receipt, a check, or a date, then it's a legit thing, all righty? But if they're just blah, 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 blah to make themselves feel important, bye. Have a nice day, all right? On the 23rd at 3.59 p.m., Mercury goes retrograde in your 11th house till September 15th. You can be reconnecting with people from your past. There could be, this could be you reconnecting with people that you used to work with at this time. Um, you can be joining a group or organization organization or this could be going back to school or let me see you have a hard time reading other people's body language misunderstandings are more likely to happen at this time and lead to unpleasant or embarrassing situations avoid negotiations if at all um this is often a time where you could be swindled lied to or deceived you may have buyer's remorse during this time period so be careful with big purchases um for some of you be sure to get your facts straight when it comes to um gossip at this time with this energy try to be truthful and open and other people may not be truthful or straight about the facts with you as well all right so there's a lot of deception going on this could also be dealing with business dealings acquaintances could be lying to you so don't believe everything that you hear at this time mercury is going to be queen cunting chiron in the sixth house and you're very reluctant to ask other people for help with this energy so don't be scared to ask other people for help or to reach out to other people at this time with this energy because that's part of your correction mercury is quincuncing chiron this could be you reluctant oh yeah so don't yeah, don't be scared to ask for help at this time with this energy. This is a busy time for you in regards to your career. You may have to delegate responsibilities to other people at this time. It doesn't mean that you're, you can't do it. It's just that, you know, some of you think that you can do do the job of like 10 people and it's like you're literally doing the job of 10 people and you literally cannot do the job of 10 people, okay? On the 27th at 9.20, Mars enters Libra in the 12th house where it's a detriment. I would definitely pick and choose your battles at this time. You need to cock those damn brains before you shoot that damn mouth off because you're very straightforward. Your stinger is out and you slapping everybody with it. It's like, ow. Um, so you could read somebody to filth at this time and it's going to be like the honest truth. That's the problem. So I would be very careful with this energy. You could be tenacious and going after what you want at this time. For some of you, you're delving into certainty, you're fearless with this energy and you loving it if your marriage has been on the rocks there could be a divorce or you two could be getting separated at this time you are more about your freedom with this energy um, so you love love relationships for some of you could be suffering with this energy here so it's not the easiest time for that Alrighty, I feel for some of you, you can be more quiet into yourself you could be getting get, get blah, blah. you could be getting a lot of rest um, let me see. The Lilith moon here also moves into the sign of Virgo here, which means that this is a great time for social net, social networking because it's going to be semi-sectiling Mars with this energy. So you're super charming. You have an easy time making new friends with this energy, being more open, showing people a different side of you. Then on the 28th, Uranus goes retrograde in your seventh house of, of relationships. Um, but it's well aspected at this time. So this could be um, endings coming up, but at the same time, a lot of clarity. And you're able to process things really quickly instead of hold on to them. And you're able to move on from situations in your life. Or you're able to end certain relationships without feeling sad and depressed about it. I feel for some of you, your social circle is filled with excitement at this time with this energy. Um, others can help you towards your career goals or take shortcuts, shortcuts to get there at this time. You need to find Find ways to bring your individual individualistic and freedom loving nature into your missions or your goals at this time otherwise you may end up rebelling against the very cause you were trying to help your sense of, pur of purpose is is um is i can't talk you have a sense of purpose at this time. Your mission may be shocking to others at this time or the choices that the life choices that you make at this time could be very shocking to other people. So slow down your message or practice your message um, in a way that is not strong but palliable to other people. So other people could be like, oh, okay, you know, like sugarcoat it or something. 
because other people are going to be like, oh my God, you know? On the 30th at 9.35 p.m., the full moon in Pisces, it is time for close personal relationships and communications of feelings. Um, this in your fifth house. Children may seek reassurance or want you to entertain them. You will not be inclined to express your, your emotions now, often due to a fear of guilt or, yeah, just dealing with your emotional hangups. You may not be on speaking terms with your partner at this time. For some of you, you can be more quiet and to yourself and in hermit mode. Um, you're very analytical in your way of thinking. I feel like you think before you speak now or, or act. Um, you can be quiet. You can be a perfectionist when it comes to your career. For some of you at this time, I feel you could be refusing to help certain people in your life because you're more about your energy and you're very greedy greedy with your time and energy um you or you take time or you take other uh, you take on other people's responsibilities or obligations for some of you you may not be getting along with people at work during this time or you could be very sensitive and you may not be able to take constructive criticism it could make you feel some kind of damn way the first card to come up with is the Seven of Coins, something heavy on your mind that you want to do. So during the Mercury retrograde, this could be more of a thought or an action or something else. I feel like something, I feel like for a lot of signs, something else is going to come along. It's going to be like squirrel, and then you're going to go on that direction, you know? So this may be just more of a thought than an action and something that you'll intrigue again later on. Listen to your own wisdom and advice at this time with this energy as well. The Eight of Swords, I feel like for some of you here, this is you having needing to have the courage to move away from certain situations at this time needing ha to have the courage to have open and honest talks or to be vulnerable with other people which is really hard for you i feel like this could be an emotionally transformative time period for you as well with this energy the hermit card again you're more to yourself at this time you're very analytical in your way of thinking here a great time for students the nine of cups my yes card to whatever question you were thinking about is yes but you may not do it at this time the four of cups you're delving more into self-care with this energy here as well and you're just focusing on yourself you can be more quiet and just keeping to yourself at this time this energy brings a lot of healing to you um, as well and getting over certain situations in your life for some of you you could be getting over a divorce at this time you could be done with your grieving period with this energy for some of you I feel like for some of you here I see success for some of you you're a smooth talker with this energy you could talk your way into and out of any situation that you want Okay, the Seven of Cups, I see lots of thoughts of future, future coming to you at this time um, as well. So there's a beautiful energy for that. The Knight of Swords, there could be some quick messages happening for you with this energy that need quick answers. And you may not be able to give those answers really quickly because you may have other prior obligations that you obligated yourself to. So it could be very hard for you to get out of certain things because you got to see what you can do about it. And this is where you need to ask for help and kind of delegate certain things because even though you made these promises, I feel like you kind of made them a little bit too early and now you're like, oh man. So, you know, and it's fine because everything is temporary. So you could find yourself like trying to finagle your way out of a situation that you obligated yourself to and it will be okay because you're a smooth talker at this time. You can charm your way into and out of anything. Try it, okay? I feel also with this energy here, let me see, hmm, what else? I do feel like you can have some revelations or insights at this time with certain situations going on in your life. The Queen of Cups, I do see new love around you with this energy so it's up to you what you want to do mercury's in retrograde so this is a great time to talk and to just like get to know the person and date the page of cups so this may not happen for some of you anytime soon for some of you this could be dating at this time because you know how much i love the page of cups the three of cups Ooh, four okay so you gotta need to go with the flow here you have a lot of cup cards at this time with this energy here so you could be feeling that little tiny stellum in your ninth house as hades and coronas are going to be conjunct with each other so it could be like a really intense energy time for you this could be an emotional purging that you could be going through as well well, the world card, the world works in your favor with this energy. This could also be traveling. The king of wands, you can be dealing with somebody that's very stuck in their ways of thinking with this energy or very stubborn person. The king of swords, you can be very analytical in your way of thinking at this time with this energy. I feel like as I connect with this energy, this is a great time for teachers. 
with this energy here um, because you know how to deal with your students a little bit better with this energy for some of you, you could be taking on a leadership position or you could be sharing your expertise advice to others with this energy for others of you here you're keeping yourself very busy at this time while you play the waiting game when it comes to certain things because you're really trying to avoid boredom with this energy so you're really trying to keep yourself entertained the ace of swords your perspective and outlook on life can be changing you know what for some of you here of you could be bored and tired of being stuck in the house and that's why you're going to start dating again okay but you could talk to the person and you guys could do things to each other just don't be intimate don't be sexually intimate with each other you know just talk and get to know the person you know that's what i would do if i was dating somebody if i was dating you know nobody want to date me nobody want to date me it's not like i'm gonna say give me your date birth time and place damn it <laughs> Maybe. The Five of Swords. I feel with this energy here that you could be bullied at this time with this energy. All right. Or you can you may have like a lot of disagreements with certain people. But I feel like you're not going to let certain people bother you with this energy. You know, you're not going to be pressured into doing things you don't want to do um, with this energy as well. Especially things you don't want to do. All righty. The Two of Cups. I feel like for some of you here that you could be very realistic about your relationships or you could be very picky about who you love who you love at this time like if they if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it you're not trying to you know if you're lonely you're just going to be lonely you know you're not trying to push yourself into anything unless they you know you feel fireworks and stuff like that you could be jaded by love too you could feel for others of you i do feel like you do have somebody that you're crushing on or that you are very much um attracted to at this time with this energy okay so i do see that all right. Um, for others of you, I do see a betrayal. All righty. So this could be like your partner, God forbid, cheating on you with this energy here or seeing other people or having a freaking emotional affair. So that could be happening as well. All righty. We love those. But it's not, you know, you want to get revenge. But you know what? Just let it go. Just let it go because this is a time for soulmates and just be blessed. Even if it was a long-term relationship, it's because you had lessons with that person. And we were doing this like for 20 years with Pluto in Pluto and Capricorn because you had lessons with this person, you know, and now Pluto is going to enter Aquarius. So now you have a new relationship coming in. So just see it like that. I do see somebody being tyrannical around you with this energy here. The queen of coins, you benefit through the women in your life. You have a lot of people in your cards at this time. For some of you, somebody could be financially investing in you with this energy, or this could be your boyfriend or girlfriend spending money on you at this time with this energy. The focus can also be more towards family with this energy. This could be also a family reunion coming up for some of you here as well with this energy or planning to go see family with this energy here the queen of swords i feel like you can be crushing on somebody like i said and i feel also with this energy here this could be you um thinking about the ex at this time the eight of swords you can be going through it emotionally here with this energy i feel like for some of you whatever has been bothering you if something's been bothering you and you've been kind of like tolerating certain situations you're no longer going to tolerate certain situations i do feel like you're going to speak up once and for all with this energy and say what's on your mind because you're not tolerating other people anymore it's like you and is it could be when mars goes into libra because chiron's already in the sixth house but maybe when mars in libra you're going to have the strength to like speak up and tell this person off or just say your piece at this time with this energy for some of you this could be an emotionally confusing time for you and it can be keeping you stuck where you are at this time. So you have a very hard time moving forward. The page of coins, I feel like for some of you here, you could be more reliable. Others could be trusting you with this energy here. I feel like you have great integrity at this time when it comes to your work. And you give certain people in your life peace of mind. I do feel like for some of you here, I do hear like an emphasis on traveling. For some of you, this can also be um, business picking up at this time with this energy or you could be starting a new creative endeavor and it could do very well during this time period okay the eight of wands i see traveling again good news coming in the ace of wands taking creative risk at this time being open to trying new things with this energy or meeting new people and the death the death card brings about changes coming up but this could be more by your hand than anything okay 
Um, so this could be you having the, you may need to take initiative at this time. And this is you taking creative risk at this time with this energy, okay? Because you are avoiding boredom at this time. I do see recognition and success coming to you at this time. Whatever, um, I do feel like you feel more connected to your purpose-driven journey as well with this energy. I love you, my Scorpion. So your love, show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses. Mwah.